Hello, Paul Gibri here for another installment of Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us, how do you import CAD files into ZBrush? So I have a file that came from Matrix right here that's a ring, and I want to show the process of importing this file and what you need to do to make it a file that you can sculpt with inside ZBrush. So I'm going to start from scratch and just show when you just launch ZBrush and what are the steps that you have to do. So when you first launch ZBrush, this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to click on this large icon right here. I'm going to select this polymesh star and I'm going to click and drag that out and put myself in edit mode. So now I have a 3D object. Now I'm going to click this import button and import the file into ZBrush. So ZBrush will be analyzing the file and looking at anything that might need to be fixed. And this particular file does have some vertex points that are just floating in space. So you can see here the imported mesh contains unused vertices. I'm going to say yes, go ahead and remove them. And then now it's saying there are still six unused points. I'm going to say go ahead. And then you can see now we have our ring. So this particular file when it was exported from Matrix, had the groups option on, and the conversion from NURBS to polygons had the highest setting. So whenever you're going to export from any CAD program, you have to convert your NURBS into polygons, because ZBrush will only accept polygons. So this file, you can see here, has many different triangles. So you can see there's different types of triangles here, here, and you can see right here it gets really dense or some really interesting different triangle geometry here. So this is not something that's sculptural friendly. Okay, so the very first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that this piece is all one. So when you're bringing in a CAD file, it actually brings this in as pieces or patches. So if I was just to say to smooth by holding the shift key, you can see there are various patches. You can see even the diamonds are separating. So upon the export, nothing's actually welded together. So that's not good to sculpt across the surface within ZBrush. So this is an easy fix. I'm going to go to my geometry. I'm going to go to modify topology. And I'm going to click this button right here, which is weld points. There's also a slider that controls the distance of the welding. I'm just going to click this because the default works fine. It's now done welding, and you notice now if I smooth, nothing separates. So now we know we have a completely enclosed mesh. So the next step I want to do is I don't want to play with the diamonds. I want to keep them separate from the band. So I'm going to hold down my control shift, tap on the diamonds, and because we had that groups option upon the export of matrix, all the diamonds in essence have one group. So I've hold down control shift to select on that group. And now in the subtool menu, I'm going to go to split and tell it to split the hidden. And what that's going to do is make the diamonds their own subtool in ZBrush and make the ring its own subtool in ZBrush. And now we need to just convert this piece either into a Dynamesh or use the ZRemesher tool to create nice clean geometry. So let's take a look at the two results we get from the Dynamesh and from the Z-Remesher. Okay, so here's our results from the Dynamesh and the Z-Remesher. So this is the original ring. I'm gonna drop down to the Dynamesh subtool. You can see that's now the Dynamesh version. And then here is the Z-Remesh version, which obviously the big difference between Z-Remeshing and Dynamesh is if I turn on my polyframe here, you can see equally distributed polygons. It's remeshing, it's a lower amount of polygons, so this is sitting at 38,000 right now. The Dynamesh is much more dense and sitting at 3.7 million. So for the Dynamesh one, for this particular ring, I, I put my resolution at 1400, and I got a great result, pretty much exactly what was the original ring. And then for my Z-Remesh version, I changed the polygon count to 35,000 and that was it. So when I divide this ring though now, you can see how smooth and great result we get from that. And that's how you can 
import a CAD file into ZBrush and use DynaMesh or ZRemesher to clean up the mesh to be used for sculpting purposes with inside ZBrush. Thank you for watching this video and please continue to send your questions to our Twitter account using the hashtag AskZBrush.